you want to definitely treat like the job hunt as, as like a sales process itself, where you're the product that you're trying to sell. So, mm -hmm. um, start off, you know, especially for that first, for that first position, it's definitely the hardest to get. So it's important to recognize ahead of time that it's going to take a good amount of effort to land that initial position. So it might require you to apply to, you know, 30 or 40 different positions before you go ahead and nail an interview and then, and then get an offer. Um, so you're going to have a little bit of like a volume based approach, but you also want to be deliberate with your approach too. So I would say build out a list of, you know, 30 or so companies that you would want to target and, and work at. I recommend narrowing down on, on a specific vertical or industry. So that way you're kind of minimizing the interview prep that you're doing. So one example would be maybe cybersecurity if you're interested in working for a cybersecurity company doing sales, you know, you can narrow down on cybersecurity startups. Uh, another example might be like fintech or, or health tech companies. And then from there, what you'll want to do is one of your goals should be to get a, a referral because the referral will definitely help a lot in terms of your chances of getting an actual interview. So for each of those companies, you'll basically just be going through on LinkedIn and you want to basically get a list of probably two or three individuals that you want to target for kind of your, your outbound uh, or prospecting. Um, so some good characteristics of individuals to try to like connect with and target would be perhaps individuals at that company that went to the same college that, that you went to that maybe went to the same or, you know, came from like the same hometown or same home, you know, state, that would be like a great kind of connection. Another example would be um, if you found like an interesting piece of content that they recently published, you can use that as a potential intro. So what you want to do is you want to have some sort of like hook. So when you like reach out to them on LinkedIn, for example, you don't want to go ahead and just ask for the referral right off the bat. Instead, you kind of want to work into it. So, if you found that there was an individual that went to the same like college as you at one of the target companies you want to work at, um, you want to start off with like kind of like an inquisitive type approach. Say like, hey, you know, I noticed that you know we both went to like the same you know alma mater, um, been exploring this tech sales career path. Wanted to hear about your experience at company X Y Z. Uh, so keep it you know fairly short, fairly concise, but you know have a, you know have some sort of like connection that you're trying to build there. Um, and your goal should be to, you know, perhaps like set up, you know, maybe like a 15 minute Zoom call or, or, or Google call just to go ahead and, and learn about their experience at the company. And then also just learn about maybe like the hiring process and what that would look like. And then at the end, you know, you can, you can make the, you know, do, do, do the ask for, for a referral. And in my experience, most people are usually pretty open to providing a referral unless like you just have like a really bad approach or uh, might not be like, you're just like totally a bad fit for the, for the company for, for some reason. Yeah. And you know,